The Boots Shokang Global Pipes. This came out maybe toward the end of last year. I noticed it um, in the spring, early spring, maybe February, March of this year. And what really attracted me was these bright, vibrant colors of this pipe. And the description. Boots Shokang Global Pipes are nothing short of what you would expect to come out of the Boots Shokang factory. With vibrant colors from the stem, the bowl, and the shank. You won't be able to mistake these pipes for anything else. So, if you are getting ready to watch your favorite football game, these pipes would be the perfect pipe to grab. With a round shaped bowl, it might be said that you are holding a football. These pipes are those, these pipes are for those looking for a unique spin on their normal pipe rotation. I mean, what's not to like about them? Look at them. They're amazing. I subtly, subtly forgot about this because I couldn't afford it at the time. They were, I guess they're about 50 bucks. And I just couldn't justify spending that much for such an odd looking pipe when I wanted to increase the pipe collection of normal looking pipes. So I put it in my wish list and forgot about it. And then they went out of stock and they weren't being made anymore. About a month ago, I came across this pipe. Just, um, I don't know, on a whim, I searched eBay and it came up. Someone was selling this for 25 bucks with $5 shipping. I had a $5 eBay coupon, so free shipping, net. I bought it. Had it shipped to me. So this is a review of Boots Shokan Global Pipe. So, this is what's came. This is a Boots Shokan Global. It has a, a nice hefty feel. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's made completely of plastic. This is all plastic. This is some sort of um, ceramic. Reminds me a bit like a cue ball, like a pool ball. It's the same. Um, let's see. Measurements. The, the inside of the chamber is probably a little smaller than what I like. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, was it like uh, three quarters of an inch? Which is probably typical. I usually prefer the size of, uh, in of chamber size more like this uh, custom built, which is about an inch. I like these. And the Savinelli author. 320 has a uh, about an inch so I'm used to the uh, that size chamber opening I like it so it's, it's a longer smoke uh, overall I like the feel of this pipe um, it is a filtered pipe it takes nine millimeters nine millimeter filters and um, as you can see I've already smoked a couple so there's a bit of yellowing in the plastic I think the overall aesthetic look of it is great it's it's a very strange looking pipe it's a pipe i would probably take to my local brewery and break it out just for a shock factor um but that is where the positive comments for this pipe end um this pipe is not a good smoking pipe um okay another positive it is easy to clean so this comes apart and the ball just simply unscrews and it's very easy to get a pipe cleaner in there get a pipe cleaner in there and get a pipe cleaner in there very easy to, to clean i will give it a, a, a positive for that the breakdown and the cleaning is real easy but what that kills me for this pipe is the size of that opening <laughs> Can you see that? That's a tiny opening. That is a very small opening. I apologize if you hear the back and forth upstairs, the pounding of the footsteps upstairs. I'm in the basement and there are dogs upstairs playing with uh, their tennis balls. So let me put this back together. I'm trying to do this through the screen. Hey, I did it. Oop. Whatever you do, don't strip this because that's plastic. Be very careful. You strip it, you don't have a pipe anymore. Put it back on. All right.
The best way I can explain the problem with this pipe is if you listen to, uh, this is an empty um, pipe. This is my um, Havanti bent sitter. If you listen to the draw of this pipe, there's nothing in it. That's a healthy draw. There's a lot of air coming through the chamber, through the shank, into your mouth. Listen to the draw of this bouchacon. Can you hear the difference? I literally have to pull harder to get the same amount of draw. So what does that mean for you as a pipe smoker? You're pulling in harder, which means that you're getting more hot um, smoke on your tongue. So yes, this is a tongue biter. This is a bad tongue biter. At first, I thought, to give the benefit of the doubt, it, well, I mean, overall, this is just a shitty engineering, engineered pipe. It's just shitty. It's just, all it is is just aesthetics. At first, I thought <laughs> that it might have been the size of this hole. So I took a drill bit and I enlarged that hole in the hopes of making the draw a little easier. But that did not work because that's decent. But it's this. It's this hole, this tiny little hole that you cannot enlarge because it's part of the, the assembly. That's way too hard. That's way too small of a hole to draw through. So. Overall, <laughs> the Butz Chocan, Butz Chocan Global is an amazing looking pipe. It's, if you're buying, if you want to buy it for your collection, then as just to sit there and look like um, an oddity in your collection, by all means, buy it and let it sit prettily and happily on your shelves. But if you plan on smoking it, if you plan, plan on buying this pipe to smoke, pass on, get something better. I find this a very bad mark on Boots Chocan because I hear so many good things about this pipe company that I'm willing to give them another chance and perhaps get uh, purchase another pipe made by them that is higher quality. But this is a piece of crap. So that's my review. Take care.